we're trying to figure out. As usual, we're figuring it out on the fly. There we go. Together from remote galaxies, nice. a 13 of the most sinister villains of all time, the Legion of Doom. Dedicated to a single objective, the conquest of the universe. Only one group dares to challenge this intergalactic threat. All right, what is up, everybody? Welcome to Three Men in a Basement, the DC Comic Special Part Two. Woo. Now, that was our superhero, our more like our Legion of Doom intro, right? Right. So if this is the Legion of Doom, and I, I don't want to be Lex Luthor. Can I be Sinestro? You can be Sinestro. That's right. Who do you I'm want? To be? Lex. You want to be I'm Lex? Lex. You want to be the brains of the operation? I'm the brains of the operation. Ah. I'm okay. the behind the scenes brains well, of the operation. Bernie, 1869. What does that make you? I'm Black Panther because I'm badass. You're a black man. Justin, what about you? I'm Scarecrow over here. Scarecrow over here. We got the GF in the studio audience. She could be any of the females, right? Cheetah, the whole thing. You got it. All right. So what's up, everybody? Welcome to our show, Three Men in the Basement. And we're going to get started tonight. It's so everybody. Welcome to the show. Yep. We're going to just do a couple things to uh, ensure that we're... Super Bowl Eve. Super Bowl Eve. All right. Go Rams. Let's go Rams. If you're going to get down, we're going, all right, well... So you, you're, you're just you, – you, I'm not – we're all Giants fans, except yeah. for Bernie. No, I'm not, I'm not, He's a Jets fan. I'm a Jets fan. I'm, so, I'm a, you know. so we're going to – you know, if you're getting down, though, put your money on the Patriots. I don't know why that line is two and a half. But um, that's – that's, that's, that's He's a Jets fan. I'm, I'm, so. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you guys like the second best team in New York. The second yeah. best team in New York. Justin, what do you think about tomorrow? Uh, I think we're going to go with the Pats tomorrow, unfortunately. Pats tomorrow. Okay. All right. Oh, wow. All right. So, like, t tonight, that, tonight's definitely like the shirt before the shirt. Like, who's really going out on Saturday night? Are people still going out today? See, I'm yes. old. We have family. Something yeah, like that. And this is what we do. We hang out in the basement and talk comic books. Yeah. But that's okay. So, we got a lot of stuff to do tonight. Um, I'm really excited to see who do we have online right now and just to chop it up. So, we want to always say that we are sponsored by my buddy, Pat Ray, CGC Blue Label Comics. Uh, please go to his Instagram page, CGC Blue Label Comics. All one word. He's got tons of cool books for sale. He's adding books every week. He's getting CGC stuff in. And check it out. He's got a killer Fantastic Four, first Puppet Master, first Gorilla Grodd, 4.0, first Gorilla Grodd, right? You see how I say <laughs> with that? The, with the pipe with the pipe, pipe, pipe cover. So they definitely got that one wrong. Yeah. Um, Dumbass. Dumbasses. <laughs> so we're... Uh, all right, so right now I want to give a shout out to everybody. We got 14 people in the live chat right All now. All right, let's go. Right, we got uh, David Ciala. Thank you for joining. We got Stay Puff as always. Comics with Display. Thank you. The Butcher 105. Hey man, I hope you're coming up to our comic swap. Can't wait to meet you. Discovery Bay Comics as always. Discovery Bay gave us a great shout out this morning. Yeah, appreciate Dude, this guy's it. working hard for the community, man. Yeah, I mean, JB. It. Is doing things that are really smart, very forward thinking as far as putting all the shows out there, talking about them and stuff like that. And let me tell you, as doing something like this, it's not easy, JB. So shout out to you and Discovery Bay Comics. Yeah, it takes man. a lot. You deserve a lot more subs, but it'll catch on. Uh, we got my boy Tivo in the house, Barry Gary, Mr. Randy Sloan. And uh, that's who is it. Mr. Walker? We have Mr. Walker's going on. So, <laughs> Randy Sloan. Who's Randy Who's Mr. Sloan? Walker? That was a very funny story, right? So, Randy, you know this. Randy knows this story. I don't know. Oh, what I, I sold it a bit. So I'm not gonna we're not gonna go that route. Um, so we do want to talk about a bunch of things. So the first thing, and this is pretty much like DC related, and this is stuff that's gone on. So um, one of the first things that we're gonna talk about is one of the new shows. And if I can figure this out, I'll do all right. So um, let me see. Give me one sec, guys. We're gonna go here. All right. And the first thing we want to start talking about is. Birds of Prey, all right? Now, I'm excited for just a straight-up Harley. It's another Harley, yeah. right? Because she by and far stole whole, the movie. Right, and it's a whole different dynamic, too. Right. You know, um, of course, you know what? I just saw I, – so we just – I just got on Facebook, believe yeah. it or not. What's that? You got to get rid of it. <laughs> no, it's – oh, yeah. So, but I do want to talk about Huntress, Black Canary, and um, and Harley and stuff like that. And we'll stop talking. We'll start talking Renee about Montoya. that. Yeah, Renee Montoya. So does Renee Montoya never get a like name? Or something? No, she's, I don't know. she's she just she does cause a question. Okay, so issue forty eight. Oh, the all question. right, there we go. She's the question. So yep. we've we've seen Renee Montoya oh, on yeah. Arrow. Yep. Okay. And the Black Canary on right. Arrow. Yep. 
Um, oh, we've seen the Huntress too. The Huntress too. She was so, in love with them. That's how right. she became a Huntress. Now, you know, these books go up in price, you guys. What happens with this? You know, you and McGregor is Black Mask. You know, the inside joke that we all have that I, you know, I always miss out on it. You know, right. uh, Tivo, I miss out on it with Tivo raffling it. And I was at the casino and stuff like that. Bernie, I think you've got three copies of First Black Mask. Justin, how many copies do you have? Uh, I have one graded, and, yeah. and I have one that's going to be coming with me up to Connecticut in that CGC box. So okay. maybe you can buy that off of me. All right, maybe I can. Maybe I can. I have For, zero. You have zero. Have okay, zero. so between the three of us, we've got five. <laughs> two have none. No, two I'll have one. Two have none. So. Oh, you don't have one either. I don't have one either. Oh. No, the book's been eluding me at every turn. So, what number is it? Um, Three eighty-six. Three eighty-six. Pretty cool cover. You know yeah. what I mean? Not, but not really when I was buying it. So. Um, I don't know. I'm happy to see the way this movie plays out. I think it'll be cool. R rated, you know, Justin, I'm going to turn this over to you. What are your thoughts? Do you think the characters are going to be cool? What do you think? What's your thought on all this? Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, you really just saw that 15 second trailer, right? Which was enough, which was enough to get you ready. It's, it's really just, it's a, it's, it's a, they basically put them on screen to see what they're going to look like. Right. Yeah, I think it's early, you know, early black mask, so he doesn't have the mask on. So I'm sure there's going to be maybe a story to that as far as how he gets the, you know, the skull mask onto it. No. Uh, Mary Elizabeth Watson, who plays Huntress. I mean, I can't wait to see her. Yeah. Um, I forget the girl who plays uh, Black Canary, but, the, you know, she does have that yellow in the suit. So that's, yeah. you know, that's always good. Now, um, I just want to interrupt you with Black Canary, I think. Um, uh, WB did a great job of showing her powers with the sonic scream. Right. You know what I mean? So I think that'll be really cool. I think that'll definitely translate to the big screen. And I also, th that? well, I also think that it wasn't like, like I didn't love Black Canary. Like, like if you were to, there's some characters on a WB where when you watch them in a movie, yeah. like, you know, I really love the way they did right, the character okay. WB. Yep. Like a new Black Canary is not going to bother me. I'm looking forward to it. Okay. Know? All right. So, Justin, what do you think about that? Uh, definitely. I mean, the first Black Canary with Laurel was she was okay. I mean, she okay. had that she had that that voice thing that yeah. like oh yeah right right she had that made that, that which was pretty cool. So I'll buy that. Yeah. That's how she got the power and stuff like that. That was pretty uh, cool. I mean, and then you have you know kind of the Black Siren. I mean, she at least has the you know she had the powers on Earth too. But yeah. then you have the new uh, Diana Diana Lands like she's uh, Diana Drake. She's really actually has the powers. So yeah. she's more the the normal Black Canary. So okay. uh, All right. and then yeah, it, it's just weird going from you know having two versions on CW to now gonna be a movie. So people right. are so used to seeing certain characters on one way and now they're gonna be on the movie. Yeah, well, I think I, I think what happened was that the creators of these shows on WB were so far ahead with DC. Now yeah. DC's like we really should have been making movies right, with these we gotta guys. Go back a little bit, right. But I don't think it's going to hurt the movie at all. Dude, Randy Sloan's killing you right now. But he said, shirt? It must be ugly shirt day for Roger. <laughs> yeah. That's great. It's too bad. It's ugly face day for him every day. <laughs> <laughs> so, has anybody, yeah, bought, has anybody bought any of these books? I know First Harley, BA12 has been staying steady. I haven't gone out I and got bought that in the short box right there. What's that? You know, Justin, what's your grade on your BA12? Um, <clears throat> nine four. A nine four. Okay, that's what I. Yeah. Have. It's actually old label. I'm actually thinking about cracking it, pressing it, and reselling. Right, I have the raw one right there in the short box. You do. Yeah, I'm waiting. I might as well send it out. Right? Might as well send. You've got to send it out at this well, point, you, you know. Bertie, you got one. Yeah, I got it. You sold yours. Okay, all right. So that was a book. At one point, I had three copies of it. I remember buying all three of them from Art. I moved a few of them and stuff like that. I had a press, but I didn't have anyone higher than a nine four. So nine four is my own personal one. The other, you the know? other character that they were talking about was in this movie is Victor Zaz. And the only reason I thought of that yeah. is Victor Zaz in Gotham is like my favorite character. Yeah, he's awesome. He is my by far my he's favorite character okay. in Victor's in in Gotham. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Victor Zaz. Yes, like, okay. like he is he's funny, but he's brutal. Okay. Like. He, I don't know how you can do that. Might be one character I, I'll be disappointed. Okay, either. and you can still get his first appearance in the dodge. Yeah, you really? I don't even know yeah. who that is. First and, and I don't know. Hold on. I don't know. If there's a significance. What first appearance is that? Shadow of the Bat One. Shadow of the Bat One. Okay. How do you know that? Stop it right now. <laughs> you know, you didn't. You looked that up. No, no, he knows man. that. He knows that. I don't doubt that. I'm not gonna He's a betting man. So. He's I'm not like, gonna He's like Rain so, Man. He remembers shit that somebody else does. So we're very happy about Birds of Prey, right? Definitely rated R. Uh, That's the other it. question. Okay. Are they going to make it uh, musically 
comical like Suicide Squad? Well, or are they going to make it? Are they going to make it dark and like the Superman, Batman, like Titans? Right. I like think they're Titans. done with the dark feel. Like they, they, they know the dark feel doesn't work. Because the Titans is a TV show, right? I think for a movie. I think they're done with the yeah, Zack but they Snyder. Did, but they didn't do dark in the first Suicide Squad, and it got ripped apart. <clears throat> uh, partially because the villain sucks. Yeah, because the villain right. sucks. What, like you, what right. does Everett always say? Yes, what, is <laughs> I, what do I always say? You should have been listening to me. Yeah. You need a good villain. You don't yeah. need a demon. Fighting yeah, no, that was, that was absolutely terrible. Right. Terrible. Uh, right. I don't know. I mean, what direction it's going to go in. All right. So we'll just have to see, but I don't know. Um, I'll, I'll see it. I'll actually oh, go yeah. see it pretty quickly. Yeah, you know absolutely. What I mean? Me too. So that's a good Thursday segue. Night, midnight. So. <laughs> that's a good segue into our next thing. And the next thing that we're going to talk about is um, Gotham. So with Gotham, I watched up to season two. I think I watched up to Freeze. And the only reason I stopped um, was because it got a little bit too dark and there was too many other things that were like, Seasons five, seven, eight, and nine that I had to okay. stop. All right, so that's where I am with Gotham. Justin, where are you with so Gotham? So you you stop. Um, I'm up to date. I just actually watched Thursday's episode this oh, afternoon. Yeah. All right, and what season are we on? For it's it's all right, but it's season five. Okay, all right. Five. Are you up to date? Yes. Okay. I actually watched it live. I watched yesterday. the first two episodes of this season. Oh, this season. <laughs> but other than that, you're up to date. Yeah. All right. Now I will tell you. I did like everything. You know, Selena Kyle was younger in this. I'm interested. I always like the character of Alfred. Um, I Al love I saw Alfred the is definitely great. I this, saw the beginning so. stages of the Joker, but then he kind of died. I've watched Penguin since the inception and Riddler since the inception. And I thought that they're a version of Mr. Freeze. So that's where I'm at. Um that's how is it? Ago. I'm gonna start with Justin. Justin, where do you think it's gonna end? And after this, where do you think it's going? Like five seasons and then they disband. So I'll leave that up to you. I mean, it's tough. I mean, I'm sure, Roger, you just saw the last episode, the last episode. So this season, of course, they're bringing Bane, which I think it's going to be a terrible way to for the final season. I agree. But I, I mean, the No Man's Land storyline from the 90s was an amazing storyline that just is pretty much this entire season. So, you know, <clears throat> I don't really know how it's going to end. I mean, is it going to end where Bruce is leaving Gotham? Like once everything happens with Gotham becoming back to normal with the government, Will Bruce leave and go to wherever he needs to go train, you know, in the exactly. land or, who, you know, with the card or wherever he goes, the shadows, whatever it may be. Okay. All right. Yeah. And Roger. I, and, I, and I think, I mean, I was a little disappointed that, like, the storyline began with basically what happened in, in Batman the movie where all the bridges were blown up and they're isolated. But I've liked where they've gone. I've liked – um I, I think I like Penguin much better in the earlier seasons. Okay. But I, I think I'm, I'm with Justin. Right. I think eventually you're going to have the point where they're going to step in. All the chaos is going to end. Bruce is going to disappear. Um, I love what they're doing with Cat, Cat okay. Girl, Catwoman. Catwoman. Oh, where, I Selena, Kyle, Kyle, Selena How Kyle. How is Selena is, Kyle right now? Is she so, so more like a, more of a love relationship? Is that happening? It's, yet? Both. She's, it's both. She's dark now. Like She's, she's gotten to the point where she's manipulating – the sexuality of Bruce Wayne, okay. knowing that she can get him to do what she wants, gotcha. By giving him a little kiss, right? And he's little, falling for it, oh, like talking. Justin, he's falling city. for it. <laughs> yeah, of course he's uh, Bruce oh, Wayne. You know, and, hey, and listen, he, as boys, as young men, as young boys, uh, and, and, we've and all was, been there, right? And one of the greatest lines that shows that the, the way the interaction is. He's like, I didn't come all this way just to lose you, and she's like, I'm not here to lose. Okay, gotcha. So, oh, no. so <laughs> like, let's just be friends. Yeah, right? like, yeah. But then she kissed him. You right, know? Like right. I knew I could count on you and stick your tongue down her throat. So yeah, right. Uh, I think they've gone a cool place with it. She is badass. So we definitely she's, think it was a she's, big. Yeah, she's head, she's big she's, she's uh, you know when she was brought back to not really brought back to life, but she was crippled and they brought her back. What brought her back kind of gave her those extra. All right, now I'm a badass. All right, I'm, nice. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna use you until I don't need you anymore. Then I'm gonna. All leave right, you all right, Bernie. What are your thoughts? Enjoying it? What do What do you say? What you What say uh, you? I really like the first episode this season. The second one was okay, and like I said, that's as far as I've got. But what about Bane? Do you think bringing a Bane is a good I idea? Seen Bane, but okay. I'm all for it. Who's been your favorite it. villain? Out of everybody. Yeah. Uh, Victor's ass. <laughs> oh, yeah. Zaz. Oh, it's yeah. been so awesome. Uh, they've done a lot of good ones, I think. Right. Have they, they done have. any? Um, all right. So, so they, so they kind of entered. Any Scarecrow? Any Scarecrow? Yeah, Scarecrow's oh, yeah. Yeah. Scarecrow there. 
Okay. And they entered what I, I'm guessing is what their version of Harley Quinn is. Okay. I mean, they even had Professor Pig. Uh, Professor Pig. R was really? Cool. Yeah, yeah, Professor right. Pig. That was a great. That was a great few episodes. I don't think there's uncontrolled yet. No control. And he uh, mentioned a Raza Ghoul at all. Yes. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, he's a. Really? Yeah. All right. See, I'm out of this, you guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, this Ross is, this is why I have the DC guys tonight. I, Bruce I, Wayne uh, killed them. Get out of here. Spoiler alert. You're going to watch it. Spoiler alert. Really? Okay. And then they bring right. in their version of the Joker, which okay. is not, not the one you saw. Not, not one the one, one that I saw. His brother. His brother. Okay. So probably, is it, hold on. Is it the same actor? Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. okay. Same actor. What? It's got to be the yeah. same actor. Uh, Cameron. Uh, I can't think of his last name. Cameron something. No, it's not the same actor. No, the the, the the original, the first guy that had his face taken off. Yeah. That's not the same guy that's playing him now. I yes, it is. It was his twin brother. Really? Twin brother. Yeah, that would make perfect. Yeah. All right. So yeah, guys, I, in the live I, chat. I guess right I now. didn't recognize him without his face stapled on. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, Roger, for a minute there, you thought I was. Made me think I was wrong. Yeah, yeah second guessing yourself. Right, thing. he's he's very good at that. Oh, so, politician. So, so in the live chat, we've got uh, Solgar only. We've got you know Stay Puff hanging out with us, guys. What do you guys think about this? Are you buying into Gosham? Fusion only. Um, yeah. So whatever you guys think, you know, fire in the comments. You know, please, if you guys think this is good stuff, please <coughs> subscribe, like us. I've been watching some of our older videos, and a lot of guys have been saying, you know, why don't you have more subs? We don't have more subs because we're organically grown, right? We run all this. We're three dads with you know real time jobs stuff like that, but we love comics. So share, Smash, share, 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 share on Insta on Facebook. I just jumped on as Otto Grotto, and you won't see anything in my personal life. That's what I use kind of Instagram and comics for. I'm going to use that to share all types yeah, of information. I'm so, the opposite. You know what I mean? Yeah, Scott Farr, <laughs> my boy Scott Farr. Uh, not that we've ever met, but Scott Farr is from Maine. He goes to Casablanca Comics. Oh, We're I'm huge fans of Casablanca Comics. Oh, so, um, you know, I just mailed this package to him, the so it's got to be around. Uh, Scott, if you're online right now, the cold one. how far are you? Yeah, how far are you time wise from um, Castle in Portland? Yeah, I don't remember. I sent out eight, like eight, nine packages. I, I got a funny story. Can I tell you guys a funny story? It better be funny. This is really funny. <laughs> no, no, this is a really funny story. This is a really, this is the story of Otto okay, so and what happens in Otto's life. I got to share this. You know, it's like I got to get this All off right, my go chest. Ahead, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. So for our, for TiVo, Dark Side Jedi's, and myself, Lords of the Long Box Auction, I packaged up a bunch of stuff. I had four boxes, <laughs> medium boxes, and I had four flat rate envelopes that were so stuffed with cardboard, I was like taping them together, right? So uh, in my town of Billing, in town where we live, our post office has an automated <laughs> kiosk, <laughs> okay? It has an automated kiosk. And the automated kiosk, and they've got the big, you know, the door that you can just, you know, throw your package in and it goes in there. And I knew the books were very well protected when I packed it, packaged them, so I had no problem with using this automated kiosk. So I go to my, I have to go to a meeting at seven o'clock for real world stuff, which is very important. So at six o'clock, I leave here. Now I only have to go 10 minutes, if that 10 minutes, but I want to go to the post office. So I go to the post office. There's nobody in there. I go to the automated kiosk with a flat rate envelope that has ASM 50 in it, another flat rate envelope that has FF 49 in it, and then something else. So I walk up to the kiosk and the kiosk is flushed up against the wall. I go and I put the books down on what I think is a shelf, and the books drop behind the machine. <laughs> they drop behind the kiosk at six o'clock at night, right? So now I don't care, whatever. I go to move the kiosk, and I realize bolted the I floor. bolted to the floor. Okay, it's bolted to the floor. Now I have to go to a meeting at seven o'clock. What I have to vote for, right? And now. I hear my postman, the guy that does my route, in the in the main office, you know, in the back. I got another guy with me. We're trying to shimmy the machine. I'm thinking to myself, my God, I just sold these books, and now they're stuck behind this kiosk? <laughs> like, what am I going to do? Like, this is, Justin, Dude, this is beyond you, panic mode, right? Probably blame the postman. <laughs> I wouldn't blame the postman. I would blame, I would, this is just auto, right? He calls me up, and he says, I might not make the meeting. I'm like, we got to vote. Yes, what do you yes. mean? Listen to this. This is great. This is great. <laughs> so, okay. So now... So I bang on the door and I get the postmaster, my postman, and somebody else, and they come out and they're like, oh, well, let's just, you know, open up the kiosk itself and we'll just reach through it. So she uses the key, opens it up. Now there's this guy standing behind me, too, that really wants to bail something. I want to preface that. Oh, right? really? Oh, totally, oh, yeah. totally. And I'm like working this. At this point, I'm going to walk away. So they open up the, the thing where the paper comes out or whatever, and it's a solid unit. They can't put their arms oh, through. Okay. So now this girl says, one of the ladies at the post office goes, let me go find like two sticks or something. And now I know that, you know, 
from you know working concession stands when we volunteer. I need that thing with the little two clipper, the garbage, right? the garbage picker upper. Yeah, I know we have handle, that. The handle, the handle, like that. Like that's all I know we need. But I don't have it. Okay, so they're like, we have one. I'm like, well, look, I don't have time for you to get it. So now we manage our football concession stand, which hasn't been open in two months. It's completely frozen. It's on the other side of a fence that I can't see because my eyes are so bad. So listen to you guys. I swear to God, this is the truth. I speed through four lights. I get there. I hop a fence. When was the last time you hopped a fence? Exactly. Dude, I'm 48 years old. I was on top of this fence like, oh, my God, dude, I'm going to hit the face on my floor. So then I run into the I, – I get in. I got to get a key. I got to use another code. I got to hit it before the alarm goes off. More importantly, I got to hope that the garbage picker up is still there, right? So I pick it up. I'm surprised I have you it. didn't set off the alarm. Yes, I'm surprised. I set all the alarms. I, I'm surprised you haven't gotten the alarm. <laughs> I run back to the post office in all of 12 and a half minutes. And then I'm thinking to myself, man, I don't know if I can reach in and get it because maybe my arms are too short because I have dinosaur arms and I can't pull it out. So I get there and there's a note that says, we got your packages, just knock on the door. Meanwhile, <laughs> The guy who wants to mail his packages is still there. <laughs> okay, he's still there. Justin, do you believe this? The guy's still there. So now, so I do it, whatever. So the girl's like, so I go to try to, now I've got the packages. I'm like, all right, let me mail at least one. I go to use the machine. The machine's out of order. <laughs> <laughs> Just wasn't so, meant to be. So man. the guy, I looked at, I, I got my packages. The machine's out of order. I look at this guy and I go, Dude, I, I'm sorry, man. I hope you get those packages out tomorrow. So anyway, so that was the plight of, you wow. know, just mailing stuff Welcome out. Welcome to Everett's World. That's back to Everett's World. But I still made the meeting on time. Yeah, it was early, so, actually. It was early. Yeah, yeah, I was early. You were early. <laughs> was 15 early. minutes early. I early. You walked in. I thought for sure. Oh, my God. I had excuses. And I'm, I'm, like, God, see, I'm the president. I'm sitting there going, how am I going to explain to my vice president? Yes. This is because I deal. can't tell him. It's because he dropped his comic yes. behind the sheet. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was like, I'm ready to go. Every had an emergency. It kind of was. Here. So that's why I called Roger. I'm like, dude, this is kind of an emergency. So anyway, so. That's what I had with Gotham. I don't know where up. I got on this tangent. Can't make that stuff up. But, yeah. So, but we did hear, to change up a little bit, right. if I can find it, some news about this director who we've heard left and right about, right? So we've talked and heard. Um, let me see. Where is he right here? We've talked and heard about Mr. James Gunn and everything that's, um, let me see. Oh my god, I'm sorry guys. Suicide Squad you're talking about? Yeah, Suicide Squad 2, James right? Gunn taking over Suicide Squad. And the idea is he might not necessarily be continuing the story, but doing a reboot. Okay. Because the first one had such bad reviews. Really? So I think that his idea is he may he may bring back some of the old characters. Okay. It'd be stupid not to bring back Harley Quinn and yeah. Joker. Okay. And you know Will Smith is Deadshot, but apparently they're not. There's nothing else has been secured as far as Killer Croc and and they're talk, actually the one that they think will come back is Diablo. Really? That's my next question. So, I don't know who's going to come back. Right. So right? And, and they don't know I, because I like he's Croc riding this story. I, I like it too, but if they're doing a reboot, they might think that they have better use. Like there's. Um, there's, they're talking about maybe Black Adam being in that movie. Uh, let me tell you something. You, we know how All right, Justin. Yes, what? we're gonna go with you right here. So, what, um, what are your thoughts on this whole thing? So, James Gunn. What characters do you want to see James Gunn bring back? Well, I mean, Suicide Squad's cool because it's an it, it's great because it's an always changing squad. That's okay. the whole point of the Suicide Squad. So, I mean, there's so many different incarnations. I think if you stick with you stick with Harley. You stick with Deadshot, Captain Boomerang. I Ooh, mean, Boomerang. I like. I, I'll tell you who's someone who I like to see if they put him in. I like to see Killer Frost because okay. she's kind of been in and out of that team. Yeah. Okay. Um, who else? I mean, of course, like Rick Flag has to kind of be in there because he's been in there since the way beginnings. Yeah, yeah. and okay. and I think they've. I think the guy who originally played him said he's coming back. Uh, Bronze Tiger. He's a cool character yeah. who's been on the squad, and. Um, I'm trying to think. I mean, Enchantress was good. Just unfortunately, not a good villain. Just a good. I don't think it translated well. You know, 
I don't think it translated well. So I definitely would like to if see. If they made her part of the Suicide Squad, it would have been a good character. Right. But being a this is a terrible villain. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough. King Shark, very Gary. I'm a huge fan of King Shark, <laughs> but I don't even know if King Shark was ever in. I thought you were a big fan of Black Adam. I am a huge fan of Black Adam. That's I'm a bothered beyond a huge yeah. fan of Black Adam. So I have to see it. Uh, Bernie eighteen sixty nine. Your thoughts on Suicide Squad two? Somebody you'd like to see in it? Somebody you could go, you know, Killer Croc? Anybody like that? Uh, Harley carried the first movie. Harley carried the first one. <laughs> Deadshot. You need to bring. Hold on. Here's a question. Do you need to bring back Deadshot because it's Will Smith? No, you, no. you need to bring him back because he was a good character. Okay, Justin, your thoughts? Yeah, definitely. Uh, Will Smith. Well, whether it's Will Smith or not, I mean, Deadshot is an amazing character. Right. To be okay. So I mean, he's got to be on the team. It probably had something to do with the fact that yeah. Will Smith's a great actor. Right. But that the, the, the character they wrote in was phenomenal. Okay. Uh, Deadshot's first appearance is what, Pat? Detective Ford. No. Golden well, Age. No, not Golden Age. <laughs> Silver Age is like Detective 474. 474, okay. A or book that alludes me to. Okay. 574 or 474, Justin? 474. Okay. Oh, you know what? I believe I, I like uh, I think what Safe Puff just said. I like Katana. I think, Bat, I think Batman 58 is his first. Okay. 49. Batman 49 is his first. 49. 49. Yeah, okay. All right. Or no, 59. I'm sorry. 59. 59. Right. I was 59. 58, 59. Nice. 59. So yeah, so I don't know. I'm looking forward to it. Like, I am let me too. tell you, Guardians One and Guardians Two are two movies that I always say I can watch on rewind. I can put them on and I can get lost too, and I take and a nap too. Like that. What's that? Oh, there totally are. But and you know who's who's tweeting out for um, putting his name out there, wanting to be in the next Suicide Squad. Who's that? Is uh, Batista? Yeah, Batista, really? Yeah. yeah, he's a huge fan. He's like, like count me in. Yeah, count would, me in. I don't know what character he would play. So. Can I? Okay. Well, who would he play? Black Adam? I mean, who would like no, Batista play or something no, like that? You know, too big for that. He's too big. All right, we'll have yeah. to see. But yeah, I know, cool stuff. I'm a fan of James Gunn. His movies are something I can definitely get lost to, uh, and so we'll have to see what happens. But you know what? All the stuff that happened to him before the tweets for a couple of years ago, you know, it, it's going to happen pretty soon. So that's going to bring us into. We're going to keep sticking with the DC. I like the first one. I'm looking forward to the second. Yes, I agree with you. I think it'll be better. Okay. Um, sticking with DC. I remember when I gave my review on the first one, you guys were like all mocking me. And then after Everett watched it the second time, he's like, I kind of agree with you. <laughs> Is that for true? No, nobody pays attention to you, Ben. <laughs> no, no, Pat always <laughs> sees it first. <laughs> what did you say? You didn't like it? I gave it like a 7 5 only because of Harley. Also, it would have been like yeah. a 6 off. Yeah. I don't know about. Uh, here we go. All right. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I watched it. You know, I enjoyed it. The really, I really enjoyed it the first time. The second time, I could see the flaws in it. You know what I mean? So I see your point of view and I see my point of view. And I just think, I, I got to let it lie. I thought it was cool. But we are talking about now about Titans, which to me has been a home run. Justin, a home run? Uh, yeah, home run. Cannot wait for season two. Cannot wait. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, Pat, where are you with Titans? I finished it. Yeah, and what did you give it? You enjoyed it? I thought it was very good. Very good, all right. I thought the finale sucked, but I thought it was very yeah, good. Yeah, all right. I agree with you on that. We're going to get into that, right? Yeah, we're going to talk about that. So we're going to talk about it. What did you so, think yeah. about so, it? Are you done absolutely. with it? Yeah, I'm done with it. Okay. Absolutely. A plus, not nine, nine, eight, nine, four. So okay. All right, I agree <laughs> with you. All right, so I'll let Justin um, give us, you know, we've talked about, uh, well, no, we really have to, I think it's just, we really have to talk about, who they're saying is going to come up next year, right? right. So if you're telling me Slade I'm also, Wilson. Well, I'm also well. It, I, well, let's, well, Justin, let's get your thoughts because I, I have some stuff written down, but you might get there first. So, well, all right. All right so let's talk about you just showed off uh, Connor Leslie as they just showed a picture of her actually in the Wonder Girl costume. So that means she's obviously coming back in season two. She's obviously going to be fighting because she's in that costume, and I think she looks perfect for the character. Uh, and then as far as what the rumor mill is, I mean, having Slade, having Jericho and Rose, possibly just the whole next season is going to be them as the villain. Okay. Uh, I'm excited for that. But as yep. far as season one ending, there was definitely, what a lot of people don't know is there was another episode that actually was right. uh, recorded. Really? And they just didn't yeah, it. Twelve. Get out of here. They pulled it out. Now, how, no, this is factually correct. Yes. Yes. Uh -oh. 
All so right. it actually, the, the, the episode's already recorded and it's going to be episode one of season two. So, right. oh, I got you, got you. That's and, kind of a good and, movie. And well, it's not. Well, it's because, not a good movie at the end of season one. I think. Yeah. And, it, like, and I think the consensus is that's more of like a mid season cliffhanger other than a. I can't hear this. Right. Um, yes, and I agree, Justin. I, I, I saw, and the other thing was, I saw a picture from like a still frame. From what was should have been episode twelve. Okay. And night or what the hell's his name? He's he, yeah, he's Robin. he's yeah. yeah. So he's he's like snapped out of the trance. Okay. And you see um you see Raven, you see um Starfire in their actual costumes. Yeah, okay. and Hawk and Dove, right? Hawk yeah. and Dove are in the uh, the house. Yeah, right. And Hawk and Dove are there and, and a lot of people are are, are and I agree. Like you had the episode before that, and it's Hawk and Dove are like, we need to find, we, we need to find them. Okay. And then they weren't in the last episode. Yeah. <laughs> like, what was that all about? Okay. Well, we'll have to see what happens. So I mean, there was only eleven episodes. Right. About four of them were standalone episodes. Correct. Okay. So right. I mean, it was like kind of like, and I really liked the Doom Patrol one, and I liked the, the Doom Patrol one. was good. Doom Patrol. But, all right, I'll let you as finish. far I'm sorry. as the whole season goes, continue, you know, like trying to watch your whole season. You know, there was kind of like, and then don't get me started on the week to week things. <laughs> all right, so, all right, this week, all right, we got the story going on. Then you got to wait a week, and oh, then we got the standalone issues. So, yeah, so you're waiting two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. Right? <laughs> oh, then you're you so, know, you know, patience. I can barely patient. remember last night. How am I going to remember two weeks ago? <laughs> So, so, so I guess my question is, if if they're gonna bring Jericho in, which is gonna make, which means that obviously his dad's gonna show up, so Deathstroke's gonna be. I don't think Deathstroke. If they bring him in, uh, my opinion is, is not gonna be a major role. Right. I think you're gonna see him. I think Jericho's gonna join the squad. Okay. Is, which is his son. Right. And I think that it'll be cool to see him. Right. I'd rather have him be the biggest thing. But you have, you know, Jericho coming in. You have Superboy and. Crypto. Crypto, Crypto the right. dog, you you know you, you have you already have the story with Trigon. I mean, right. you, it's not going to so just you got end a lot like of stuff that. Going on. Right. Okay. It's not going to just you. he's not going to just disappear in the first two episodes. Right. Question. Yeah, we have a question in the audience. All right. At the end of uh, so they're bringing Deathstroke in for season two. Right. So does that make that post credit scenes at the end of uh, Justice League? Or are they going to bring him in on TV and yeah, we'll bring him in. On, so Justin, did you hear well, that they question? Had, they had him on a WB, so right. right. So, yeah, but so we're getting three. We're getting three different versions of Deathstroke. That's pretty much so right, hot. Justin. Because he's so yeah. Hard. If that's the way you look at it, so you look at it right. So to me, you guys, Teen Titans. Too. No, but I mean, I just maybe they just put a kibosh in that post credit scene with just that post. -credit well, scene. well, I mean, they're, I definitely think that they've got two different things. No, the fact I'll that, be mad if they take him out of the movies. I don't think I they're going to take him out of the movie. I think you're just going to cast as a different actor. You know what I mean? I think you're gonna get cast as a different actor because because well, in my the movies, yes, because I I think their TV and their movies are completely separate. No, I know, but the TV they had Flash. had a, an actor, correct? That's from the post. Right. All right. What I'm saying but is, you know he's they, asking is because they're adding them to Titans. Right. Do you think they're gonna get rid of them in the movie? No, I don't even. Think so. I don't think so. Maybe because you know now Ben Affleck's gone. Well, good segue. We're gonna talk about that in a second. But now the end. I mean, look, and it's not a spoiler. If you haven't seen Aquaman by now, you know. Right. But they, they should have, they should have had uh, that boat, that yacht with uh, Lex Luthor and uh, Deathstroke. On I'm there. Have been, that would have been, been great. That would have been if, fantastic. If they were the ones to find Black Manta. Yeah, that's right. The whole oh, movie. dude, that would have been really cool. See, that would have been really cool. That would have been. Really Did cool. you hear that, Justin? <laughs> Yeah, this guy's this guy's thinking the LOD is gonna pop up really quick. All right, right, right. we're so ahead of the curve. We would have been, so, been three eleven to the winner. That's it. We're three. Okay, so ultimately, I just I think it'll be really cool. Um, looking forward to what they do with it. And, bef I, and before you move from that, I want yeah. I want to I want to bring up a couple. There's a bunch of other shows DC is bringing in. Yeah. And one of those is, well, I mean it's gonna be the Justice Society, but I think they're calling it Star Girl or something like that. Okay. And one of the one of the things I saw is um, Power Man yeah. is going to be played by Lou Ferrigno Jr. Really, yeah. I did see this. I did see this. I did. See I just that. thought that was funny. I did see that. I did see that. Yeah, yeah. I, like I thought that, that was yeah. funny. Power. Yeah, Power Power Man, not Marvel Power Man. Yeah, Power Man. Man. Yeah, that was pretty Power cool. Man. Justin, did you see that? 
No, actually, that uh, that's actually news to me. Roger yeah. actually got me on that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Know. Oh, all of a so, sudden, you know. So all right, so we got that. All of a sudden, look at that, so, Mr. Walkers, right here. <laughs> I'm excited. Yes, exactly. Um, Scott Farr said they've got to get rid of Jared Leto as a Joker. I agree. There must have been oh, a bad actor. Agree. I'm sorry. Uh, I I that's like cool. Thank you, John Cogger. This is pretty cool. This was a gift from my uh, the Warrior Queen a couple of years ago. I threw it out there for Beyond the Blast Doors. If he jumps in, I like your Star uh, Trek fan. Every, I love uh, both. Every, Tony Gonzalez on the XFL? No, negative. I never had him. Yeah, I believe oh, it. Funny though. So, but I do want to um, go blue. So John Cochran says go blue. So you got a Michigan right. fan in the house. Oh, let's go. Scott Farr said he's only twenty minutes you from know, Castle Blanket. That package I just mailed the other day went to Ann Arbor. Did it really? And, and instead of writing three men in the basement, I almost wrote "Go away, OSU." <laughs> That's real mature. That was a spirit of negative feedback. Real mature. <laughs> negative feedback. I'm giving you negative feedback. Bison All right, so <laughs> the, the uh, let me see, guys. I'm just trying to pull up something that we're going right. to talk about next. So give me one it says second. Batman. Is that what you're? I'm trying to, yeah, but I don't know. Yeah, that's all right. All right, I don't know if we need to pull up a picture of Batfleck, but he's out. He's out. My thoughts are so he was good. See you later. Uh, I mean, was he good? He was I mean, in two films for big, two or three. He didn't. He suck. was in Superman. Right, let's forget. I uh, forget that he was in Superman for barely, right? For barely, but he was still in it, you know, as Bruce Wayne. And I appreciate anybody that does Bruce Wayne because it's a very tough character to do. You know, he was in you know the Batman movie and then the Superman movie. So and he was in Suicide Squad. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know. Forget about that. All right. Let's. Justin, thoughts on that one? Well, all right. So uh, Bat Flack, he's gone. Yeah, Bat Flack. Um, yeah. I don't know if you guys heard this, but there's obviously rumors of who wants to play. Yes, Batman. I'm very unfamiliar with those guys. Okay, so obviously, first one is Army Hammer. Did you hear that? Yeah. Army yeah. Hammer is that a real name? He's the guy who was in. He played him and his like twin, whatever. But it was in the Facebook movie. They play. He played the twins in the Facebook in that social media Facebook movie. Okay. So his name is Army Hammer, like you, the stuff you put. Oh, yeah, Army Hammer. Yeah, yeah, that's what. Yeah, what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, whatever about that. I mean, it is what it is. A younger actor. Okay. But the other one is Nick, is Nick Jonas. I actually think Nick Jonas is. That's actually not bad. Yeah. Like from the Jonas. Yes, yes, Nick Jonas. Yes, yes, yes. I yes. Right. Because I'm okay with he that. can, he can easily like beef up, and he's yep. a young, he's a young guy. So yeah, that's, that's what they're going for. The next one, on. the the next one is a young Bruce Wayne, right? This is a young yeah. Bruce Wayne. I'd rather have. He's talking off in a solo Batman. You know what? The next thing that's coming out. I'd rather have him go Dark Knight Returns, put the old Bruce Wayne, or go Batman Beyond with an old. Bruce right. Well, they already debunked that one. So they are already sure. said that there is no yeah, Batman yeah, Beyond. I'm sorry. They've already talked about that. They go Dark Knight and turn. I, okay. I, I think I'm. I'm sorry, but I, I I'm a true believer that all the with all the movies coming out, all of my favorite characters yeah. are all actors that weren't anything before. Okay. Like anytime Bruce they come Wayne. out, anytime they come out with a character, and you you take an actor and you find someone that fits that role, but really hasn't been famous yet. Right. They do the best job. Okay. Right, I mean, you right. can't Bruce, beat Aquaman. You can't okay. beat Wonder Woman. Okay. Bruce Wayne you know? has to be at least thirty. I mean, Bruce Wayne has to be thirty. Uh, you're right about that, Justin. What do you think about that? Like, he's there's no has young Bruce Wayne. Playboy status. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I get that. He's definitely got to be a little. I mean, he got to be a little older too. I, mean, I, I don't know. I, I mean, the other guys, but I mean, they could make him look older. I mean, you look at Christian Bale. They made him go from being one one age in The Dark Knight to making it seem like he's ten years older in The Dark Knight Rises. It, it's it's different. Different. Like, they, they can make him look old. Oh. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, either way, I I, you know. I just I don't want to see a young. I, we've seen it in Gotham, which I okay. like Gotham. But Batman's gotta be a man. Okay, no, I agree with you. All right, we'll just have to see what it plays out. You know, Ben Affleck's on other things. He's gonna make money on other things. Yeah, but as far as Ben Affleck, what's next? It's, Hanson and Suicide Squad. Yeah. Well, he's gotta be the worst Batman. <laughs> I don't think he's been the worst Batman. <laughs> well, who's worse? Uh, George Clooney. Uh, George Clooney. <laughs> George Clooney. Was that a real movie? Yeah, that was a real. I movie. I mean, I he, that. he was. So I mean, <laughs> to me, I mean, George. It's, just, it's been just kind. Of, so uneventful. It really has. And you know what? To me, though, you guys, to be honest with you, I don't want another Batman story. In my 47 years on this earth, I don't want another Batman story. Man, I know so it. What else could you change? No, but you're not going to. There, there are so many great stories, but they're. Okay, good. That's a great point. But there's so many different. Batman is only like aged at certain areas. You know what I mean? Like you can't take. Uh, 
I don't know where like the, the long Halloween goes into or the sort of oh, Azrael, oh, where okay, Batman yeah. wasn't at. Like those are all great stories. And I agree with you. But you Probably can't they keep you playing the origin and everything. Yes, book. that's yeah. I agree with you. That's yeah. what I the movie doesn't need to tell the yeah, origin. Right. You don't need to or that's why you know into yeah. the Spider Verse was so good. So um so I'm done with Batfleck. You know, yeah, let's I'm, see what I, happens. It doesn't good 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 Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm all right. right. That. Justin, good your thoughts on that? Just to close that out. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I, I'm excited. A new, younger Batman, Bruce Wayne, is is the way to go. So okay, yep, I agree with you on that. All right, so let's see what happens. Now, this has been the surprise hit of the Three Men in a Basement show, and we really um, spearheaded by me, spearheaded by Roger. Just, He's watched it the whole it. thing, absolutely. and I really digged it because I bought this book off the rack. And Lobo was a very forward-thinking character, real badass. So I'm. I'm interested. I, first of all, I like the way this character looks, this actor. I love the fact that they're bringing it up. I don't know where the book is going to go up in price. Justin, you have is. my book, don't you? Yes, it's right here. It was actually it's just right, right there in his hands. <laughs> <laughs> it's right there in his wait, hands. Wait, 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 I want to see it. Let me yeah, see how pretty go. it looks. Get so it real close so you can see where the indentation I is. Now. No, because it needed a press. It needed a press. Okay. So well, he I have one, two, press. Press. Okay, you're right. Okay, gotcha. All right. So I'm excited for this because I, I like the way they're going to bring Lobo to it. This the sci-fi channel to me is great. I was a huge fan of Battlestar Galactica. I was a huge, I'm a huge fan of their other shows. So I'm a fan of sci-fi. So I have not finished season one of Krypton. What the I, hell are you waiting for? I know, for? I know, but I dug it. And I'll I give you props. Like I'm, I'm like episode eight. I, I'm dug okay. it, give it props. I know you finished it. Justin, did you watch the whole series of Krypton? Uh, yes. Yes, I did. Okay, Pat, it was about? good. It was definitely, it was, and uh, of course, on recommendations from Roger. So Yes, on recommendations from Roger. So you Love being it. the Krypton aficionado at this point, yeah. you know, you really liked it. Love How it. do you think Brandy they're going to bring Lobo awesome. into this? I, I have no idea. The way the, the way the last season ended, the I mean, basically it was uh, um, Zod coming back from Earth using okay. the same technology as um, put me on the spot. What the hell is his name? Um, Brainiac. No, um, the guy who was coming back from Earth to try oh, to save the time traveler. Yeah. Adam Strange. Adam Strange. Yes. And the whole time they had the cape, and it was Superman, and it was eating away, and he was there to save Superman. And at the end of the show, you had Zod had convinced his what is turned out to be his mother and his grandmother. Yep. that he was there to make sure that Krypton didn't blow up and that he was going to save them and all okay. that. And the Superman cape reformed. And the oh, really? did well, it. Reset it. And the Superman logo went away. And okay, it was the gotcha. Zod logo. All right. Nice. Okay. And, you know, and at the very end, it's everybody's going to kneel before Zod. Okay. Nice. Nice. Sorry. But they don't give you any inkling. Like, Radiac's gone. Like, yep. you have no idea about how this is right. coming from. So, and, I, and I think I like that better because there's no expectation. You're just... Where are they going to go with this? You Correct. know who the character is going to be, right? You know the kind of the how the characters interact with each other. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, obviously, uh, the the House of L is not going to just let Saad take yes, over no, and, all, all, and rule everybody, right. which is and even his grandmother and daughter are like, oh, okay, okay, her mother are like, okay, what do we do here? But right. no, there's no whatsoever, and even the three second teaser yep. of next season. It has Doomsday busting out of his cage. Yes, uh, like, yeah, <laughs> that looks pretty cool. And yeah. Doomsday, Doomsday is going to be pretty cool. But no if you look at it again, Doomsday yeah. looks just like Zod. Okay, uh, it could be. Yeah, right. Yeah. No, I agree with you on that, Justin. What are your thoughts about the next season? Looking forward to it. Fired yeah, up. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely uh, it's definitely different than the norm. So it doesn't, you know, I guess run the factor of, I guess, continuality. Really, I mean, it's always nice to see a show that's pre our DC history. So. And I think that's really, really cool about that. And that was one of my favorite things about uh, Dawn of Just or Age of Justice or Dawn of Justice, where they showed Krypton. I always liked Krypton. Yeah. You know, I just took my kids recently, a couple of months ago. They re-released Superman One on the big screen, and to see what I thought on the big screen was the first Krypton that I ever saw with Marlon Brando. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that was really cool awesome. because that's what I kind of visioned it and see the negative zone. I'm a huge fan of the negative zone. Huge fan of Zod. So. I'm fired well, up for it. The other thing is there's no storyline. Right. They don't have a script. There's right. no story. Right. But they're not writing a prequel. They're just writing what, you know, they're just, they can do anything they want. Yeah. You they know. don't have to follow anything. Right. I would like to see that first logo only because I bought and sold it three or four times. Shoot up in price at high grade. 
I don't know. I think that was that's a victim, Bernie. I don't know if you know this. Was that one of that that uh, Wayne Men book? Was that a victim of overprinting? You yes. know, um, it's a '90s book, isn't it? It's a '90s book. You know, and it was uh, Keith Geffen did it. You can always I mean, I'm sure it's not Geffen. as high print as some of the other ones. That right, but it was definitely I think much closer, Roger. Much yeah, closer. Justin, do you have that book graded? Uh yeah, I th I forget what it is. I won it in a raffle. It's definitely like at least a nine four, probably. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. So you know, again, being a nine eight snob, I'd like to have this book in a nine eight. <laughs> but I bought and sold a bunch of them. And again, but but I bought this book off the rack. I was first introduced to Lobo with his partner, and when they encountered the, uh, he he was flying around. He was flying around on his roadster all over space. He it, he um he, he finds this group of called the Omega Men that was done by Keith Giffen. And there's an issue, there's an episode, there's a, sorry, there's an issue with his first appearance in a couple panels where he's fighting a character like Angel, right? This winged character, this alien, I forget his name. But in the in the last panel, just to show you how bad Lobo was, Lobo has this character beat, has him turned, grabs his wings, and because he's so strong, puts his knee in his back and rips his wings off. Really? Right. And this book came out in early 80s when I was a kid. So that's my first introduction to So what to was Lobo. the version of Lobo lying around on dolphins? Yeah, I don't know that one. <laughs> I, saw, I saw a picture painting and had yeah. like, space they were space I'm dolphins. Like, I hope yeah. they don't bring space, space no, dolphins no, no. to yeah, Krypton. Yeah. yeah, so, and I forget the, um, yeah, I forget what happened, but, you know, he's completely different than this, but, you know, now he's got the long hair. So. Justin, what do you think my mine will grade at? Yeah, Justin. Like, at least a 9-2. Okay. I would say. I mean, it definitely, uh, you know, it definitely pressed out a lot better. It's definitely high grade, I would say, at least in 9.2, if not in 9.4. Zap comedy. Yeah, that place sucks. Did yeah. you really buy a Zap? <laughs> Son of a gun. Son that's of, you know, that's I, the one book, I, when I stopped by that day, <laughs> that was the one book I well, bought. I saw I, it on there. <laughs> I heart Zap comics. For the 1869, heart Zap comics. <laughs> right. Uh, so you get three out of four but, votes. Christening, yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, so yeah, sure we, nice we're hoping for good Lobo stuff. I'm sure, they're nice and then people. We'll, um, we're going to talk about this for a hot minute because I'm really digging this. And I got to thank Justin for turning me on to Deadly Class, which is again on sci fi, which is just absolutely killer. And I don't know how to explain this. So I was thinking about this today. How can I explain this book to you? This book is like, yeah, it's like cool. Harry Potter meets the Warriors meets Weird Science and. Uh, what you would call it from the, the 80s, yes, really? uh, yeah, real genius from the 80s because it's placed in the 80s, it's got the 80s vibe, it's got killer 80s music, really. Which, oh my it's god, it's, it's the best! Oh, it's on sci fi, oh. the characters are cool. Um, and I'm just digging it because you got all these different factions, so I'm just loving it. Now, I'm just going to say that that's what I got to say about that. I'm going to give it up to Justin, I'll let him talk about it for a minute, and then we'll go around the room and talk about it. So, Justin, deadly class. You're digging it. What's up? Oh, I mean, yeah, Deadly Class was. I've liked it since the beginning, way back when Rick Remender started the series. I, anytime someone was in my LCS and they wanted to start a new series, I said, "Listen, take the first trade. It's ten dollars." Yeah. I was like, it's, "It's Harry Potter meets Assassins." I mean, you have the different clicks. You have, uh, you know, Marcus, the main character, who's quote unquote like kind of like Harry Potter, where he's like the gifted child. Like either a lot of people are scared of him or a lot of people hate him because of what he did. Um, but and then all the characters are great. I mean, Saya, um, Master Lin, uh, I love Maria, Lin, Lin Lily, everybody. Master Lin is what's his name? He's um, Doctor Strange, he's Wong. Wong, he's Wong. So I like that character, pretty cool. I'll let you keep going, Justin. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, it, it the first three episodes do you know somewhat follow the first story arc. Uh, you are introduced to one of the main villains in like uh, episode two. Uh, but then past that, they've kind of obviously it's three issues, so they've kind of expanded that because they don't want to go. There's only about forty issues out, so they don't want to go past that in the first season, you right? Because right. kind of like what Walking Dead does. Yeah. So I like the expansion of uh, more of what's going on in the high school. So I mean, episode three was really great with the the pranks, and then episode two, you got more of each of the characters' expansion, like where they're from, their background. So. Yeah. No, I agree. So. Totally digging it on your uh, recommendation. I was actually Googling what a 9.8 is going for. Any variants on that, Justin? Are there any variants or is it just a... What's that? Yeah, didn't you watch my variant video like three weeks ago? I, did, I, did, I, did, I, did. That's why I got into it, but I don't remember. This I'm old, dude. My memory is, you know... Uh, yeah, I mean, there's only about five uh, okay. store variants, and then that was, that was it. Everything is like an A and a B cover. Gotcha. So. All right. Roger, have you watched any of this? 
No, not at all. But I got to give a shout out to Justin. That's some, I just realized what shirt he was wearing, and I think he might have done that, you know, to tease yeah, me he because. Did it of you. Yeah. I, I need a new shirt to wear, so yeah, I picked this one out. <laughs> See, that right. is the only one he had. Put <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Bernie 1869, where are you with first class or deadly class? Uh, I, I fell asleep during the first episode. Oh, uh, but <laughs> you were tired or you weren't interested? Didn't like it. I was tired. Okay, uh, but what I do gotta say, I was watching somebody else's uh YouTube show, <laughs> and they put up the book of that they bought that new class one. Yeah, it says 1987 on the bottom. Yeah. And the guy's like, did this come out in 1987? No way. First of all, Image wasn't found until the 90s. Right, right. right. <laughs> it was just so funny listening to this guy. Really? No, dude, the music is great. Yeah. The music is absolutely phenomenal. Goes, and then, that was class number one from 1987. Many, yeah. How many shows are they in? <laughs> Justin, three episodes in, right? Uh, yeah, three episodes in, and exactly like you. See, you uh, that was good. That I like you. I like that you like the music because I don't really know any of that music. It's kind of like that underground punk rock stuff. Yeah, so yeah. that's perfect. That you're last night. Should we screen share your picture with the mullet? No, no, we don't like that. Right? Yeah, no. So that's what I'm like. It, but you know what though? So there's the if you watch the dude, the brother with the corn rolls, right? He's always gang banging, throwing out his nine, like putting his gun and everything. And then when it comes down to it, he's actually a pacifist. Right, so they're driving in the car, and Justin, I, you probably know better than me. Was this in a comic book where they reference Dark Phoenix and Chris Claremont? Was that? No, that was. <laughs> no, that was just thrown in there. Oh, that uh, was okay. Okay. In the show? Yeah. Yes, they reference Dark Phoenix, Chris Claremont, and I'm like, oh, dude, you got me, man. I'm all geeked in at this really? point, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll never do no wrong anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, what's really good about this series is. Every twelve, every twelve issues is the next year. So issues one through twelve is uh, nineteen eighty seven, and then yeah. it starts nineteen eighty eight, and then oh, does every. Yeah. Everything's contained. Dude, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely gonna look into that. Uh, uh, yes. Huge shout I'm out. Watching for tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah, I do want to do two things right now. Huge shout out to Best Comics on YouTube. He comments such great entertainment from this stream. Thank you very much, man. That's what we try to keep it like this. We try to keep it fun, amusing. We keep it real with you. We're not like planning anything this isn't anything like that so thank yeah. you very much Barry gary claremont is going to be at terrific con this guy has never met him i got books upon books i'm getting a handshake i'm getting a picture i'm all in on claremont man i mean this is board claremont on top of stan lee no 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 so i'm telling you it's going stan lee well, no, but you handshake stan lee on your right hand. so that's so 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 stan lee's right here and then it's going Chris Claremont for the handshake. But on your hand, though, oh, really? Stan Lee's already there. Yes, exactly. It's going to be. Sereko is. Sereko is. <laughs> you know why Sereko is so funny? It's because Sereko, and he's going to be there too. So Claremont and Sereko. So I'm borderline like this. You know, I, I the only other person is John Byrne, but I know he won't come around. So Claremont got my books. I'm ready to go. Sereko, right. um, I'm really excited for Terrificon this year. Um, anyway, it's so a little off year. task. It's it is early. It is year. early. Justin Terrificon, you coming up with your boy Dave D? Uh, yeah, most likely. I mean, oh, why not? <laughs> right. So, Ranko, we got Very Gary Comics hanging out with us. So, uh, yeah, so Very Gary Comics is Very Gary Comics is coming to our swap. We haven't talked about that yet. I've only been on for an hour. We're going to be going for a little while. <laughs> so, we're doing a comic swap at in Rocky Hill, Connecticut. So, please, if you're from the Northeast, comment, DM myself, at Roger Levesque, Bernie1869, Nemesis Prime to get a hold of us. We're doing a comic swap in my restaurant, which holds a brunch from 11 to 3 on February 23rd. Thank you very much. <laughs> and what I want to do is have tons of collectors together. We're going to do a raffle. I'm actually working on questions right now. So we're going to do like a, um, what do they do? Uh, trivia. Trivia. We got a trivia that I'm going to plan on doing. Oh, yeah, good one. You know, and then after that, we're going to go live. We're going to bring, you know, me and my crew back to the grotto. We've got a huge CGC unboxing. Justin, how many books do we have to unbox? We have 42 books to do. <laughs> with five of us. I have not looked at the grades and it's yeah. been like, I'm just like, hey, whatever, it's sitting aside, we're good. Yeah, it's, shout it's out to everybody in the live chat because we here in Three, three Men in Basement, days. we don't check our grades. No. Because we want to know what the grades are when you find out. So yeah. we're excited for that. Yeah, we hope it doesn't snow. I know, Randy. There you go. <laughs> so uh, we've talked about a bunch of the things that we've had. We've gone over the things. We've talked, we're talking for an hour. Um, so now we're already about, or now we're already, but we're having a good time. Right. So we've got recent hauls. All right. Um, Roger, 
All right. Want to go first? Yeah, let me go first. All right, right. Roger's going to go first. Right. So, salute to everybody hanging out with us on a Saturday yeah. night. Cheers. So, this isn't new. I collect ASM 300 cover swipes. Yeah. So, here's you a, do? This, yeah. I didn't know that. Charlton Arrow. I. This is someone something I bought on Instagram from one of our IG people. Um, happens all the time. I'll go on there, and there'll be some book I never even seen. Yeah. That's affordable, so I get it. Nice. So I got a, I got the uh, direct and the um, what do you call that? New stand. New stand version. Okay. Of the of the Hulk with the same. So so here's the question. Okay, hold on a second. The Hulk, same buyer. Same buyer. No. Different buyer. Oh, different buyer. Different buyer. Different buyer. Really? Okay. So here's the question: Is this a cover swipe? Because I'm collecting the ASM 300 cover swipes. McFarlane put this book out yeah. just about the same time as ASM 300. Ooh, really? With the same art. Okay. They were out in the same month. Okay. I don't know which one came. I'm assuming ASM 300 came out first. Okay. But he did the art for both of them. They look almost exactly the same. He took the, yeah. move, the circle in the back and all that. Somebody hanging on his neck. So, yeah, it, it, Bernie is so uh, you know thoughtfully pointed out a few <laughs> times. The Hulk's got so someone hanging out his back. What do you think it is? Do you think it is? I think it is because it, is. it looks like the art. And and, and here's the thing. There's there's other ones like like the uh, – not the Pickle Rick one, but there's like Winnie the Pooh or something. Like one of these other ones where it basically – like the 300 – it has the 300 in the background. Yeah. Well, if it has that 300 or it has a circle, it's really considered a cover swipe okay. because it looks like it. It's it, Or I guess you could call it an homage. It's homage. It's an homage. It's an homage. Like it's an homage. homage. So, homage. But, but how is it – that's just a question. Is it an homage? It came out the same month. Okay. So it's, it's really – maybe those other ones are homages to the Hulk. Exactly. There you go. So that's it. That's the, that's the question. All right. That is right. a question upon us. So I, guess I originally bought this thinking it was a book. This is beautiful. This is print art. Somebody drew this. This is basically a cover swipe. It's not a book. It's just uh, art, but it's it's made the looks like paper clippings from all the different comics. Yeah. Um, made to to uh, to look like the cover swipe. Very cool. I love it. I love it. I have two, I have two of them. He signed one of them. I have the other one here. Um, I, I thought I would just be collecting books, but apparently now I'm, co now I'm collecting now, art. Now you went down another rabbit hole. Oh, yeah, really. Rabbit hole you know, you guys are watching right now. Dude, hit that uh, like so, button, please. Uh, hit that like button. Hit, button. hit the smash or subscribe button. Oh, I, I really you appreciate know, it. My hip hop is very close. I, I, don't, I forgot it at home, but I did add two. In yeah, the past so, week, yeah. So your hip hop collection, yeah, really. Yeah, well, I'm right, stop right, 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 right. I did right, not so forget about it. Here? What's this all about? All right, so this I don't here, know this. Th this is Invaders number one. I'm a huge fan of Invaders. Hidden gem. That's Love his Jack cover. Kirby at its best, man. Look at this. Awesome. Tape now too? That's yeah, I gotta put it on. I guess. Oh, the blue tape. Yeah. Oh, I gotta do. I gotta do. Get those tape pulls. Okay. This is Marvel. Where'd you get that though? Where'd you get that? Midtown. Midtown. Okay. Yes, now, did you Midtown. get a huge shipment of Midtown all I once? did. No, I, well, the last week, <laughs> and the last, see, I, I was supposed to be on a, not really a spending freeze, but a spending cutback. And I don't know, in the last week of hanging out with this guy, and, you know, no, nothing you know, that, nothing good happens on eBay after 11 o'clock. Yeah, right. Except spending money you don't have. So between <laughs> Midtown and eBay, uh, I, I got a lot of shipments in the last week and a half. So this is Marvel Comics Presents. Um, Adi Granov cover. Nice. Love it. Captain America. Beautiful cover nice. there. Um, yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy, number one. Ron Lim cover. This is actually Guardians on the cover. Yeah. I think Ron Lim is going to definitely. Is he, he's usually a terrific con. There you go. I would have him sign that. Yeah, that's definitely. Nice definitely. Ooh, Another nice. Guardians of the Galaxy. Dan Ose is sleeping cool. on there. This, this is uh, Mike Diodato cover. Okay. Those. All right. Nice book. All right. Naomi, number one. I'm not going to pretend that I know anything about yeah. Naomi other than she's got pictures of Superman in her yeah. locker. But this is uh, it's a, it's a, oh, it's a new character from Bendis. So. All right. From you what? Bendis? From Michael, Brian ben, Michael Bendis. Brian Bendis, Bendis did it. So give it 10 years. Well, the cover on this is Lupacino. Give it 10 years and DC will be doing their own right. Spider-Verse. You know, Crypt of the Shadows. 
number one, John Tyler Christopher. Guy. Yes, I'm a huge fan. I'm trying to get John Tyler Christopher to hang out with us. Yeah, it'd be Dude, great. He did all the stars. I, he, I, he does all the figure variants. Love it. Right? He does love all the figure variants. As you guys know, whoa, I'm a whoa, fan. Whoa. Hang out with us? Yeah, well, online. I mean, oh, okay. Yeah, so I've laid on the gas with him. Like, dude, I, I bought his Jabba book, his Jabba yeah, thing. I bought a, a bunch cover. of stuff like this. Please. So John Tyler Christopher, I'm a huge fan of, and he's definitely – I've met him three yeah. times, so, and I have laid on the gas. Bring it on here. We'll let him sign that book. And I absolutely up. love this. This is also uh, Crypt of the Shadows. This is a Young Guns variant, Pepe Larraz. And look at that, man. Come on. That's pretty cool. Venom on uh, the angel statue. I absolutely love that cover. Um, and you know what? To be honest with you, I don't think there's a Young Guns cover that came out that I haven't heard. Right, there's one Captain America. Well, really? Okay. That's Pat. That's, you know, Pat, you're just a pessimist. All right. All right. So, so Pat, put on uh, IG right now. We're live. Huh? Put on IG. Oh, look at this. So this is, we went to a little con last week. We did. Right? We did. We did. Well, every, yeah, the, yeah, the last, I got the last Sunday, 1869, well, I mean, didn't, want, to didn't so, want to wake up with us. Right. And, so uh, I went, I went, the goal of this con was to get there early to hang out, pass out some flyers for our comic swap, which is February 23rd. February. <laughs> so and, uh, I went we there. Did. Luckily, went there. I went there. Luckily, I had a little cash in my pocket yeah. because uh, the Indians were, nice to me on the Friday night and uh, they gave me some of my money back. So, uh, Batman 457 I picked up for a good price. Yeah. Um, hold on a second. We talked about this book. I want to hold on a second. Somebody was watching this video, this book right now. I saw it with two days left. Does anybody remember what this price point was at for the variant for the unicorn? Um, unicorn. No. It's not the unicorn. No, no, no. But the unicorn was being uh, so many. What did you guys sent it to us? It's a 6.0 on sale for 1200. Well, is that what it is? Uh, uh, I know. mean, the last raw for like a higher grade. No, this was a graded book. I got to see which one it is. Yeah. So, anyway, but that's not the unicorn, but that's okay. Yeah. Well, no. I mean, not look, buy, I didn't buy it to make money. Right. I know. Batman Adventures number one. I, I, I just. I don't know. In all my years, I love that's that my book. favorite. I penguin. love that book. That's a great. Penguin. That's my favorite. That's penguin. a cool penguin. I love that penguin. Yeah. I mean, you don't beat it from the cartoons. Uh, X Men two fifty one. I mean, you can't really. You don't have to explain that cover. Yeah. I bought two of them. One of them's going to uh, the raffle. Nice. At the. Did you get that uh, from Artie the party? I did get that from Art, our <laughs> LCS Art. guy. He uh, he was like, "What was that doing in that box?" But uh, right. Yeah, I don't know. Because he saw he saw me get excited when I found them, so he decided yeah, they, were, they were probably worth more than they should have been. All right, Avengers number four, first appearance of Maria Hill. Nice. Love that cover. She looks nude. Oh, you know they have a variant with the first uh, Ronin on the cover too. Really nice. That's a cool looking book. Yeah, I'm happy right. with it. Now, these were your big pickups? Yeah, I mean, they're my I mean, bigger, watched, biggest pickups. I mean, I, I... I'm a huge fan of this. Yes, I Justin, love this, this book. You're a huge fan of this, Justin. I, I absolutely love this book. Transformers number one. That, oh, that was on, book. on a wall. I love getting that book. Anytime I can find that book, I, I literally pick it up for a yeah. So, So I, I saw it on a wall, and the guy was asking like 60 bucks for it. Wasn't a great shape. Now we went to JNS Collectibles. Yes, they we are JNS. Love, love JNS Collectibles. You know, some of the books we think are overpriced, but for the most part, great prices. Always give us a good deal. Work with you. If you make him an offer, he's always willing to entertain it. Yep. I've sold him books where he says, and he's real with you. I, I have to sell him for this. I can only give you this. Yeah, 100%. 100%. You know, it, he it, wants it, to come it, on the show. Yeah, and he wants he to come wants, on the show. He wants to be part of the three. So, he, he, so I had a deal between this book and my next one, and, and, and he gave me a freaking phenomenal deal for that thing. Right. And ever has been pushing this, so I bought this one. Yeah. First appearance of silk. silk. There you go. I think that's going to come back in 98. I think, yes, I, I believe. I that's do nice that, that's right not only because of the mylar, but <laughs> <laughs> it really does. The, the spine looks beautiful. Yeah. The book looks perfect. I'm going to send that one out, probably not even pressing it. I want right. less hands on it. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. uh, your hands that. count. <laughs> <laughs> your big mitts count. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and stop you from humanizing that. I just wanted to see it. So, Put it back right. in this. Yeah, you've seen this. All right. So Bernie's got a haul coming up, but Justin, you got yeah. a right now, right? What do you got? Uh, I got I got a couple books, and I just want to tell you, uh, it's an hour and twelve minutes since the Art Germ Detective Comics 1000s went on sale, and they are sold out for the set. Uh, I got a one set, so. 
Really? Good luck for anybody else. They were $120. You think I'm going to buy it? That's it, dude. You're out. Oh, nobody said anything. I told you, six o'clock on the dot. You got to go over there. You definitely did. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, all right. So, uh, first thing, I actually, let's go this. We got this the uh, Matina. Um, one in 200 variant. I was able to get that at a great deal from the Heroes in Crisis. So that's my first variant. And then I have two mail calls. So let's do first one. Whoa, we are losing. Uh, completely opened up. Let's see. They are both CGC books. So oh, all right. Now, were, these were all, were these. Submissions. This was uh one was it one was an eBay win and one is going to be a little bit more descriptive. So Ooh. this was the eBay win. I never messed with so, eBay. In a while. I was about to, but no, I, I know. So, oh, I have a I, and a thank you card. I actually got to read that, but not on the on the show. But we'll go with this one first. Man, this guy really packed it well. Wow, super packed. So this is a. Mr. Miracle, number one, oh, 9.0. Dude. Big book. Uh, I like that. Big book. Big spec book because, of course, yeah, they've perfect. said that they are making a movie. So yeah. um, I already have one graded, but I, it was a little bit lower, but I actually wanted okay. to get it a little higher. I'd like so to invest sure. in that book, and I'm talking about an investor, buyer standpoint. I'd like that book at a 9.2. That's, you know, where I'm at with that. I don't know what that is on eBay right now or what you paid, but uh, a 9.2 is definitely where I would uh, – be at with that book all right very cool very cool G gpa on a nine was a little over 300 i got it for like 250 Perfect. Yeah, so. right. now how many were, were was how many were you watching just that one or just, just that one i i just randomly checked on ebay i said watch and uh i watched it and then i picked oh, it up right. that book. kirby at its kirby finest there you go all right so uh the next package is from one third of your crew lords of long box this is all right TV. From yeah. the this online is auction, oh, I, I, I can feel the packing is good. So let's see. We have, you know, it was it was a good auction. So I want to shout out to TiVo for having it and yourself. Under GPA, under GPA, it's always nice to win two books instead of just one. <laughs> you know, we were funny. I was like, dude, you save on shipping, dude. I was like, this would be a great book for Nemesis Prime. And then within thirty seconds, he's like, thing in for the price. And he was like lurking right there, you know, and you can watch that. Ah. Uh, Lords of All right. So the first book is a Captain Marvel one signed by Kelly Sue DeConnick, 9.8. Yeah. Very nice book. Awesome book to have in the collection. This is this is where she becomes Captain Marvel, but we all know Avenging Spider-Man 9. But of course, it says it on there. But uh, um, get it. amazing. TiVo, thank you so much for this. Thank you for the great yep. deal. So that was the first book. Uh, and then the second book, another win from TiVo and the Lords of the Long Box auction. You guys got to check out, subscribe to them as well. This was Showcase 60, first appear S Silver Age appearance of Spectre. Spectre, look at that, man. A 6.0. Yes. Get that right there. Very cool book as well. Yeah. Uh, so this kind of completes a lot of the uh, magic users for my DC run. But again, uh, TiVo, thank you so much if you're on. Great deal. You guys got to subscribe up to the Lords when they do the auctions. It's awesome. So yeah. that's my pickup. That's my hauls. Nice. Back to you guys. Yeah, deadly class. Good job. Right there. All right. Good job. Now, usually this is an episode that we call part of our show called Short Box Bernie. But this is like small box Bernie. So this is small. Well, you know, Roger's not the only one on a semi bike. Yeah, yeah. My God. Right. But I did again. What was our last show? Two weeks ago? This is not a repeat. But all right. So Christmas week, they did a. Buy one, get one. Okay. End of the year, they did show us any sale yep. that we posted. So basically, I did buy one, get one again. Okay. And they had a buy one, get one again. So you took oh, a road trip. This is not a short box, by the way. Yeah, it's a comic book. So this is a road a, trip. What do we consider? Uh, the this? Comic Mint, which is one of those uh, store exclusive uh, places. Yeah. You can order. It's not a mystery box. They. They post like five, and then they fill it up with variants and stuff. But it, they mail it in these pretty cool boxes. I okay. think I've shown it before. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah. So there you they, go. All right. Very cool. This month's box is gonna be pretty cool too. But uh, oh no, this came from. All right. So before I went down to Sarge's and got that buy one get one. Right. 
Saturday, I went to this, um, my little, I got other books there too, but I found two, uh, directed a newsstand. They're not, really? I'm oh, looking nice. for the third print, but yeah. this is, I got, these are the first high, high grades. Yeah. yeah. The other There's ones I got. Nine fours, you think? I got nine, four, nine, six on them. Really? The other ones I got like a nine. May I? What? No. <laughs> First, all right, nobody. That's it. <laughs> first, Professor Hulk, which you know, a lot of end game theories are saying that's how the Hulk's going to come back when he yep. gets smart. Any but tricks I, on that? I mean, what's? I mean, yeah, I mean it's that must good. be a hard book to get. Yeah, I agree because it's a great sure, comic. I got right. so finally some good books. <laughs> oh, so this one has a story. Best comics on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Howard the Duck. This one has a story. This book has a story. Okay, we love it. We love stories. So this too. one came, this was a buy one, get one. So okay. this was basically half off sticker. It was $30 sticker, so I got it for 15 Okay. But about two months ago, I was at RLCS with Art. And who was there but my nemesis? Your nemesis. Not nemesis. Who is, who's my nemesis? Oh, God. What is his name? Roger knows his name. Oh, what is his name? Yeah, I saw him at the show. Yeah, he's at the show. James. 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 Your nemesis. So we're back in the little cubby hole looking through, you know, oh, I got some more. So I'm looking through. Me and him are both there. He's over my shoulder. Like, you really like, like over your shoulder watching you? Or like, well, like side to side. You know, like I'm like looking through. Close. So I grabbed 12. I knew 12. And I'm like, wait a minute. Is 12 cameo or the first full? So I go on my phone to look to see which one was the first cameo or the first yeah, full. Right. Oh, 13 is the first full. He grabs 13. No right way. From, oh, yeah. No way. Right from me. Mother. I yeah. got to fight him, dude. Yeah. Uh, eventually. But, <laughs> but I know he paid more I'm than 15. I know he paid it. more than $15. Okay. The only thing wrong with this is the little yeah. stacking. So you found this at the Bible. Get one. At so, okay. Yes. So he sniped you. He sniped he you. He who laughs last laughs the best. best. There you go. So he snipes you. Okay. So this go. was 30. And another buy one, get one off of this. I picked up a Fantastic Four. Annual, annual first annihilus six, yes. I think. First Franklin Richards, yes, and an and annihilus. An annihilus. And annihilus. Full, I got that for 15, appearance. but I flipped that already. So. What did you flip it for? As a uh, I'm there. not greedy, you're not greedy. What'd I looked at me, the lowest, the lowest in the price range was 100. I put up for 75 and I accepted the best offer for 63. All right, there you go. So you so made four times your money. There you go. Yes. How we can best well, and then best. eBay's gonna take there. Well, eBay's gonna take there. Okay, so now that I have cleared out their uh, everybody's Batman run. There's no place. Art has a Batman 100, but it's got rusty staples, and I'm not paying 700 for it. Okay. Um, and he's also got another one, 122, but he's got that way overpriced too. So now I'm working on my X Men run. Yes. So these were all the buy one get ones too. Okay. Really? Yes. All right. So just so you know, we're huge mutant fans here, and before Pat shows all these books, I want to give a shout out to a couple of guys that usually don't jo jo don't join in. Uh, Mr. Comics 89, thank you for jumping in. We've got uh, Comics This Was Plain, always. We've got Joe Cochran hanging out with us. So, yeah. Joe Cochran? Yeah, yeah. So, we got a lot of people in the live chat right Joe now. Cochran. So, all right. So, <laughs> lawyer what you got? You got some X Men. You got some. So, these, were, by, by, so these were all by one. Well, these look beautiful in Mylar. They, everything looks beautiful. Everything looks good in Mylar. I'm trying to figure let's out go. which ones were which. All right, let's go. Which ones were one was which? I think let's talk one. about that 121. All right, let's talk about that. First full appearance. This is first full F of flight, yep. correct? Yep, John Byrne, classic. I mean, you're the mutant expert. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> first full, 120, 121. Yep. Um, just beautiful book. Yeah. Just, great to have. Yep, absolutely. Yep. Canadian. Nice. Yep, hey, absolutely. Shout you out to look the Canadian. No, no, no. You want to look at no, the grades? Right, let me see. Actually, I bought both of these you off. You know what? You know what? I, is there this a is big nice difference important. between Alpha Flight and Mr. Then I got the 109, which is the first. Hold on one second. Vindicator? James first Hudson. Vindicator, 109, first James Hudson. Who later becomes? Weapon Alpha. Or yeah. I have this book right now that we're going to find out what my grade is. So oh, I yeah? have this. That's in the box. You're hoping and, for a 9.2 for linear? 100%. 100%. This is one what of if you get a 9.8? You're going to be unhappy? Oh, my God. If 9.8, I'm going to get the biggest karate oh, chop. I have wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I, I thought you want to be linear. I do. I do. But I want the 9.8 karate chop. I have three books. You, uh, the possibility you. of one of those books is coming back at 9.8. You guys might have to duck because I might take your head off with my 9A karate chop. Well, you better bring right. Zoe down here because so I'm bad this luck. Book, this book right here I've read 100 times over. This is X-Men 109. This is Dave Cockrum, Chris Claremont at his best. 
the first appearance of Weapon Alpha Vindicator. He comes back and tries to bring Wolverine back to Canada. He gets his ass kicked. He uh, This is actually the same issue that Banshee loses his voice because more McTaggart gets knocked out because Vindicator shoots his force beam at, sight, at Colossus. Colossus turns metal, dings, hits more McTaggart off his head. Banshee goes crazy. This is top three, one of my favorite X-Men books ever. I'm really impressed that you bought that. Thank you. Thank you. No problem, no problem, man. Thank you. Hey, real quick. Yeah. Um, Grant, um, Randy, Gary wants to know: Should we bring all? Should he bring all his Silver Age X Men to the swap? Yes. Is he selling them half price? <laughs> 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 tell, him, tell him yes, because everybody loves X Men. Yeah, that's what he said in the chat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so then I got ninety eight and ninety nine. Yeah. One of them's first Black Tom, correct? Um, first Black Tom Cassidy is, I think, ninety nine. 99, yeah, first yeah, Black Tom so. Cassidy. These books, beautiful. These are nice books, dude. These are nice books. Yeah, but they look great in a Mylar. These are Everything books. looks great in Mylar. Yeah, these are books Invest that in the Mylar. This is a Sentinels cover. This is yeah. right before 100. So these, these were, are again, books. I mean, and Sarge's is another place like Zap's. They have pretty decent prices already. Okay. So, you know. So I got those two. Okay. And these actually aren't Silver Age, Gary. These are kind of Bronze Age, I think. Yeah, well, beautiful. you know, whatever. But well, then I got my different. Then I got the Silver Ages here. Right. Uh, fifteen, which More is the first, the first Master Mold. Master Mold. There you go. And I oh. think. And then, uh, and this this one looks good, but there's moisture damage that you can't see. All right. Well, like the whole, that out. No, no moisture damage. Okay. I mean, then you can't see it, but you can right. feel it when you. God, Bernie, how many sets are you working on? You're working on Batman. <laughs> I'm narrowing it down. I'm going to you're start. A, you are a secret. Like you are definitely like sliding in that X Men stuff. You don't talk about it a lot, but you buy a lot. Wait, of wait. Let me show off sixteen, and then we're going to tell the people the story. Okay, here we go. About <laughs> this is all your fault, by the way. <laughs> so then I got Batman six. I mean Batman. Batman. <laughs> no. I wish I had Batman sixteen first, yeah. Alfred. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, X Men 16. <laughs> I'll set up for the third appearance of the Sentinels. What the fuck? <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Alfred Sentinels. Alfred Sentinels. So, about three years ago, I was out of collecting. This guy's working on one to 300. One to 300. Done. And I have like point, six years. I yeah. have 401 to the end. Yeah. I call this guy up. I'm like, 200 bucks for the whole, for all. Oh. I'll pass. <laughs> then I got back into collecting, so it's all his fault. Yeah. <laughs> so now you're backdating. Yeah, yeah. So now I'm going to catch up. I will have the whole X Men run before you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're right because 300. Yeah. To, to, that's not the whole run. Like, well, I, I, I agree know. with what you're saying. You I, I'll, I'll have... sell one through five, five forty four <laughs> before you sell one through three hundred. You're right. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Oh so, my yeah. god. So yeah, so great so run. Yeah, that was pretty much it. That's great. <laughs> oh, my God, you guys. Thanks for sticking with us. We were laughing. Oh, we got an inside. unboxing coming. We do have an unboxing right now. So let's get this done. It's unbelievable. You it's didn't unbelievable. even prep it. I didn't even prep it. I got you want me here? Because I was bad luck last night. No, you can go in here. You're right. <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah. Let Ryan wait, wait, wait. You won a 9-2, though. So I won a 9-2. Yeah, I'm disappointed about that. I'm so depressed over that. <laughs> Roger, the official. I got the official CGC knife right over here. Or you use your own knife. All right. So, everybody. So, this is the one of the funnest parts of our shows. And we do this quite often. Hi, I'm Roger. So, hi, Roger. I'm this guy. All right. So, this is a prelude to the 42 books that we have with Justin that we're going to do after our comics. Well, we have to wait three minutes right. for. So, stories behind these books are, because it's very important to talk about the stories behind it. I bought the Eternals number one from Zap Comics. Because they had it on their wall, and uh, I picked it up, and then I had my buddy Pat Ray at CGC Blue Label Comics. He pressed it, and he submitted it. This book, I'm hoping, comes back 9294, okay? That's what I'm hoping for with that. What are you so, disappointed with? Oh, 85, dude. 85, I'm like, I'm, anyway. Yeah, 85, I'm disappointed. I also have um, X-Men 100 and X-Men 109. I'm disappointed if any either of those books come back in 8.5, only because my buddy at CGC Blue Label Comics, Pat Ray, is such a good presser. So I've had these books at Pat Ray's for almost a week and a half. I have more books coming back. This is a great part of our show, right? Yeah. Like, we definitely it. look forward to this. And if you think it's easy, 
it's you know it's a one click and you're looking at CGC. Yeah. Uh, Justin, how many you're, you've got two boxes of CGC stuff, right? Uh, right. Uh, yeah, two giant boxes. One's twenty-five CGC books. The other one is seventeen. So you guys are that guy that had to pack that. <laughs> I, I don't even know. To open it? No, no. And in that book, Bernie, how many first appearances of the uh, Batman Who Laughs is in that? Six. So six copies. Well, four of cover A and two of cover B. Okay, right. Okay. So cover B's are those the more expensive? No, cover B's less. Expensive. Okay, cover A. But I'm hoping to match a couple of grades so I can sell. Right. Them. So this was total investing purpose at point. You're going to keep one of each, probably. Yeah. Well, those. I mean, I guess we'll talk about it when I. Those are all things that I paid very, and I went with your theory. Less yes. handle. I did, I tried to look at them best I could. Right. This is my first self submission, so okay. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah. This is a big deal. All right. But big deal. I'm at the price point where I can crack them and press them and still be ahead of the game. Gotcha. All right. Yeah. All right, Roger. So what do you book care is? which book is first? You tell me which right. book is first. First book is Eternals number one. Okay. This is oh, a big. This oh, like, this is we're big, going for the home yeah, run. Yeah, right off the bat. Right off the bat. At this, point, at, at this point, he's hoarding them all. I am hoarding them. I went to the, I went to this local Comic Con with him the other day. I bought two of you two out of the four of them. Six copies of I, one. You don't have the thirty. Eight, eight copies. Of, I don't have the eight copies of two. Yeah, so we're letting the two. He's got going thirty-four on. copies. Happy with a nine-four. Happy with a nine-four. What do we get? What do we get? Nine-four. There nine we go. Four. I'm taking. Okay. Happy with the nine there four. we go. Happy with the nine-four. Nine two hundred bucks. Two hundred bucks. There we go for what it was pressed. Off white to white pages. Um, I think this will be the one that goes into the personal copy because I don't know if I can definitely get anything higher than that because the book is so old, man. It yeah. came out in the seventies. It's Jack Kirby, you know. So uh, we'll have to see what it is. But this was a book for an investing standpoint and a book that we'll see what comes out if the movie happens, whatever. So off white to white nine four. That's a good start. All right, what do we have next? X-Men 100. All right, we have X-Men 100. Oh, classic. Classic. Anniversary. Classic. Anniversary. Throw down down Thursday issue. I mean, this book is fire. I've got, so my goal is. Old X-Men versus new X-Men. My goal with this is to have X-Men from 94 up to 130 all slapped. All over 9.0. Except 94 94. to 130? 94 to 130. The high grade snob. The high grade snob is in effect. But, however, my 101 and... Um, no, no, you just said it. All right, so I know. You're on record. You're happy with, disappointed with. I'm I'll take your 8.5. Disappointed with 8.5. Okay. Happy with 9.2. Happy, disappointed 9.5, happy with 9.2. Let's go. 9.0. All right, meet me in the middle. Meet me in the middle. All right, meet me in the middle. Nine 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 so nine I was a little off on that. Uh, yes, Randy Sloan. I agree with you, Randy. This is a great cover. All right. Awesome. Off White to White. Uh, old X Men versus New X Men. Chris Claremont, Dave Cockrell, my favorite. 9 0. So here we go. So now, this is X Men 109, a book that I've been. Wait, now you're trying to get linear on this? Well, X Men 109. X Men 109 should be I'm the same grade. Very impressed. That you're very happy the same grade. about a Canadian character. I, I love I, this character. I love so this character. Canada. You have 121 and 122 and 9.2. Uh, I think 9.4. I got to see. Are they and not being else? familiar, this is not Captain Canoe, even though no, it looks like the same uniform. Captain it not Captain it looks like the same uniform. Separate characters. This is. Um, it's like comparing uh, Jabberjaw to King Shark. Yeah, it's definitely yeah. not. It's definitely not Captain Canoe. So I would love this book when Chris, um, when my boy Pat Ray and myself were looking at this book, we were so happy with what great, it, how nice it looked. So I Wait, hope it's this, this book. This book of is. Of course, you don't keep them in alphabetical order. Um, this that book is. Oh, you're not even. Linear. Seventy-eight. 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 That book is seventy-eight. Right, you want to see the grades at one? So I mean, yeah. What's my one? No, my grades are linear on one twenty, one twenty-one. No, we're not. Yes, they are. Oh, I bought it for Pat. One twenty-one is nine point four. Yeah. Oh, that's one twenty-two. Yes. Yeah, see, one twenty-two is nine point zero. Yeah, oh. so I bought it for Pat Ray. Well, it's not my book. Right. Don't so, but they're not the same labels. Happy with. Happy with. I'm disappointed. Eight five. Happy you need with a nine, nine four. You need two. A happy with I need nine, nine four. four. I need a nine four. Let's go nine four to match those books. I need a nine six. Yeah. I don't want that. That's a great shop right there. Nine, You're not six. getting it, but it's a nine 
That's a, that's a, that's that's a book from 1978. 1978. Man. There nice you go. Job. One that's of my favorite characters. 9-6. Yeah, get the knife. Man, get the karate chop, Justin. Yeah. Don't you agree? Oh, my yeah, God. Nice, man. 96. Wow. 70s. That is unbelievable. I've lived and died by this cover. And it's white pages. And for ex illusionary out there and all my people that love the white pages, that's a 9-6, man. That's awesome. Holy cow. That just made my day. Brother. So that deserves a karate chop. Congratulations. And there you go. Two nine fours two and nine fours six. and a nine six. So it's not linear, but they're kind of linear. They're, they're, that's, 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 that's where you get the frame. It's like a nine, nine eight. Oh eight, my nine, god, six, that's nine, four, great. What do you call that little up arrow thing? Uh, uh, I don't caveat know. Or yeah, yeah, caveat, or something like that. So holy cow! I knew when I saw this book. It was a nice book. That is beautiful. Oh, that's a great looking book. And he's Canadian. And he's Canadian. So huge fan of Alpha Flight. I really enjoyed it when I was a kid. Um. So, yeah, wow, I'm That's pretty awesome. stoked. I'm pretty Congratulations, stoked. Congratulations, brother. Thank you. New CGC case, 9-6, white pages. I don't know where to go with that. So, I'm pretty stoked. Can I, jump, can I jump in real quick? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you guys, it's pretty loud over there. Can you tell Roger to, to put on some mitts because it's, <laughs> it's a little loud? I'm the hand. Hand. Oh, look at his hand. It's a little loud. Baby shark, what is going on over there? <laughs> oh, these are the mitts because you're you're so loud on the things. Stop. <laughs> I've had my hands in my pockets the whole time. I know. That's why. <laughs> to, all those people, to all those haters that say it's too loud up in Connecticut, buy some mittens. <laughs> yeah, there you go. We just had the model vault jump on, so – Man, we've been going for almost 90 minutes. This has been tons of fun. Yeah, good times. Um, I think that's about Yeah, Model Vault. I don't, Vault. I don't know what I'm talking about. Model Vault, I just unboxed some books. I got a 9.6, 9.0, 9.4. Roger showed a ton of books. Yeah. We're just having a great time, man. So, um, Justin, you want to wrap up with anything? You want to talk about anything before we start closing up? Probably take us 20 minutes to close up. So yeah, probably. Uh, I mean, the only thing I got is variant video tomorrow. Yep. It'll probably it'll be released way earlier than normal because of the Super Bowl. So be on the lookout for that this week. Hey, hey Justin. Yes. I have a request. I wish I could draw like that. So yeah. I, I I work 10 and 11 hours a day. Oh, here we go. I cannot go to my LCS on Wednesdays. All right. Can so you I up? need. So I need to buy you my have access to a phone. So I need to buy my comics ahead of time. By the time your variant spotlight comes out, the website I buy from is so all of those variants. Can we do a two week look ahead? Ooh. Yeah. It's tough because <laughs> all right. I, I'm I'm not gonna blow up your spot of where you buy your comics. No, you you know everybody knows where you buy your comics, right? We yeah. get that. Okay. So where they go on sale at what time? On, they go on like, sale Wednesday around like two o'clock, one thirty, one o'clock, somewhere in there. Okay. Everything is different. When I go on there, it's it's whether they're live or not. So you want me to do a Wednesday night video for next week? That would be the earliest that I can do these videos, is what you're telling me. Because but they could sell out by the time I do it. Yeah, right? there, there's there's like that Harlequin one. I went on yeah. at four o'clock that day and they were sold out. I mean, yeah, the, yeah, the Captain Marvel, yeah, the Captain Marvel, uh, really the free easy. one. I mean, same thing, sold out right away. I mean, but when well, I mean, again, you have you have me, and you have those two other guys. We yeah, will um, help you out yeah. as much as you need. They, 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 well, they charge me a twenty dollars process. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They want double cover just yeah. to take just to <laughs> take there. You know, for us people that you know work for a living, that, that don't get to go to the LCS at noon when they yeah. open. We're about uh, ten. You know, oh, right. looking oh, for a two week look at. That's a good, that's a good point. Call. Well, Justin's just killing it with the video. So, Justin, huge shout out to you for always putting out the content. Yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, three in the basement, man. We absolutely love it. Bernie, eighteen sixty nine. Any closing comments for you? No, okay. No, right. Look at your books. All right. Good, good so contribution by you. I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to wrap up what we have to say, and here's what we got going on. So we have a comic swap coming up February 23rd in Rocky Hill, Connecticut, at a restaurant called Dakotas. DM any three of us. Comment. Please comment. Share. Let me know. Uh, we're definitely going to make it happen. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to do a trivia. We're going to do a raffle. We're going to have a great time. Um, Roger, any closing thoughts? I'm good. I'm looking forward to seeing everybody. Um and just give us a follow. Like, yeah, please. please. Follow, like, so, share. Yeah, especially on YouTube. Stuff on Facebook now. Share, share, share. Like, right. people like, 
you guys have fun. We do have fun. We enjoy everybody watching. Share it. Get more likes so we yeah. can, uh, you know. Right. Our... So we've got, um, yeah, we've got the model vault that just jumped on, man. Hey, man, check us on a rewind. It was a lot of fun. We have F, uh, SJF. Thank you very much for your first time. I hope you enjoy the camaraderie that we have here. <laughs> Please comment, share. We're going to take care of this pretty much. And you know what, guys? We've got a lot of shows coming up. We're definitely going to go to them. So I am... Well, I want to start with Nemesis Prime. Justin, anything else? We're good? I just lost Justin. All right. So on behalf of Justin, Nemesis Prime, I am Otto. This is Roger Levesque. I got Bernie 1869. Peace. I got the GS and the wife in the background. We are three men in the basement. And we are Peace. Peace out, people. Peace out. Peace out.